Let every go signal remind you that you do go farther with signal gasoline. The signal oil program. The signal oil company and your neighborhood signal dealer bring you another curious story by The Whistler. Tonight, death walks a tight wire. strange tales, many secrets hidden in the hearts of men and women who have stepped into the shadows. Presently, I'll tell you of the nameless terrors of which they dare not speak. But first, Signal Oil Company has an urgent message from your government. It's really a message from about 11 million friends of yours in uniform. If they could take time out tonight from the smoke and hell of battle, they'd say to you, it takes more than our hands alone to fight Japs and Nazis face to face. It takes guns and tanks and ships and planes, and it takes your bonds to buy them. Yes, we know how expensive war is. A lot of us in uniform are giving what we'll never get back, an arm, a leg a life. But you'll get back the money you put into bonds with good interest. So back us up. Buy another bond, the biggest one you can. By keeping the weapons flowing to us on the fighting front, you're helping us get the war over the earliest possible minute. And in this bloody business, minutes mean lives. And now, the whistler. The corrosive emotion of hatred seeks its effect in strange places. For instance, you'd think there would be no place for it among the spangles, the gaiety of the big top, where heavily painted faces wear perpetual smiles, and the band is raucous in its 4-4 happiness. Here, laughter reigns supreme. But have you ever seen the circus as the late evening breeze whips up the dust of the old county fairground? as the last customers straggle across the track to the waiting cars, and the big top begins to come down. The air is thick with dust churned from the feet of straining men and animals. The air is blue with the shouts of sweating men working feverishly. The circus is moving on. Come on, come on, you about. Hey, get those wagons rolling. We got a long jump to Mercersburg in the morning. Come on, come on, get them rolling. Check the animals, Lefty. Okay, Morgan. Ah, hello, Michael. Better hurry up. We're pulling out in a hurry. Okay, Mr. Morgan. How was the show tonight? Good. Good audience. If we just keep this up, we got nothing to worry about. Oh, by the way, your act was good. Getting better all the time. Thanks, Mr. Morgan. Well, wait till you see our new routine. Marie's gonna be sensational. Good, good. Uh, will you have it ready for Dalton? Gee, I don't know. Well, that's only three days away. Yeah, I know, but that's our most important show. We always try to do our best there. Okay, we'll try it. I'll get her up on the wire first thing in the morning. Good. Hey, look at that sky. I hope this weather holds out for another three days. Well, hurry up, Michael. Get ready to roll. Right, Mr. Morgan. Good night. See you later. Yes, another stand is played and the circus is starting to roll. Everything's going fine. There's a smile of satisfaction on the face of Mr. Morgan as he glances over the night's box office report in his little private wagon. Everything's going well. Maybe too well, Morgan. Maybe right at this moment, a shadow is creeping over the big top. A menacing shadow of hate. Who's there? Well, who is it? Who is it? What do you want? Hello, Morgan. Who? Enrico! Enrico! I didn't recognize you. The light. Come in. Come in, my friend. Thank you, Morgan. 
I am happy that you remember me. Remember you? My glory, man, how could I forget you? Enrico, the greatest tight wire artist in the business. That was long ago. Yes, but man, where have you been for the last ten years? Why, I've looked for you. Ask everyone. Advertised in the billboard. Well, you disappeared right off the face of the earth. I, uh... Yes, I, I have been away. I have worked at many things, my friend. With my hands. Worked at any job I could find where I could grip hard with my hands. Grip? Hard? A complex, no doubt. A desire to hang on to something. Perhaps to steady myself in a world that has turned upside down for me. Ah, you've had a bad time. Why did you disappear so none of us could find you? We wanted you to I go... know, Morgan, I know. But perhaps you do not remember what happened ten years ago. You mean... Oh, yes. Tony, your son. Yes. Tony, my only son. Tony was killed just ten years ago last month. Yes, of course. I remember now. He was working on the high trapeze with Savini. Yes, with Savini. The great Savini. An unfortunate accident. All at one time, the greatest trapeze artist of them all and the most promising youngster it was a blow to the circus and, of course, to you. Yes. But then, those things happen in our business, Enrico. You can't let them get you down. The show must go on in spite of accidents. Accidents. Everybody always says accident. But that was no accident. Enrico, what do you mean? My son's death was no accident. It was murder. How can you say that, Enrico? I saw it myself. So did you. They were trying a very difficult trick. It missed. They both fell. How could it have been murder? Because it was Salvini's fault. His egotism, always trying those impossible tricks. Tony worshipped Savini, would do anything he asked. If Savini wanted to kill himself, that was all right. But he killed my only son, too. But, Enrico... If he hadn't died himself, I would have killed him with my bare hands. That's why I've been gripping these last few years, working with my hands, gripping Savini's throat. Enrico, get hold of yourself. You can't let such thoughts get you. It was unfortunate, but Tony's dead, and so is Savini. The whole thing is over, done with, closed. You've got to forget and go on. Yes, I suppose you are right. And if I can help, you know all you have to do is ask me. Thank you, Morgan. And perhaps I will. Just name it. I... I want a job with the circus. With the circus? Oh, no, no, no. Not on the high wire, of course. I've lost that long ago. But any job. Just a helper. Uh, a roustabout. Just to feel the circus in my blood again. Well, of course, Enrico, if you really want it. You can sleep here in my wagon tonight, and tomorrow morning I'll introduce you to the foreman. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you. Oh, you do not know what you have done for me. I wonder if Mr. Morgan caught the look in Enrico's eye when he said that. I wonder if he felt the gnawing hatred in the tortured face. I wonder if he felt that menacing shadow grow larger and spread across the circus. No, I suppose he didn't. Nobody felt it yet except Enrico. Next day, he took up his new duties, but once the big top was up and he had a chance to look around, he headed for the performer's tent. There was purpose in his walk, and his hands gripped tightly into a fist. Into the tent he went, his eyes darting at the familiar sight. Makeup tables, mirror, grease paint, the heavy chests in which performers kept their belongings, their uh, names painted on the sides. He scanned each one anxiously, intently. There was a frown on his face until suddenly, off in a corner, he saw it. Just another chest, but it was the one he was looking for. Yes, yes, there it was, the name he'd thought he'd heard yesterday at the show. The name on the chest was Marie Savini. Hey there. Uh, what are you doing in here? But you know it's against the rules? I, uh, I was just looking for someone. Oh? Who? Marie Savini. Oh. Well, you'll find her out in the ring. She and her partner are rehearsing a new act. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Marie.
Marie Savini, the child of the great Savini. That's what brought you back to the circus, isn't it, Enrico? The child of the man who killed your son. And now you're standing in the shadow and watching her. A beautiful young girl, graceful and agile, just like her father. And your hands are working convulsively. Marie Savini. Savini, even the name you hate. All right, <clears throat> try it again. Steady, steady, go. Steady, careful. Oh, darn, I don't know what's the matter with me, Michael. If you just relax. I can't, I don't know what it is, Michael, but I feel so funny. As if someone was staring at me. It's, it's making me uncomfortable. Nonsense, there's no one in the tent. I, hmm, that's funny. What? There is someone over there, standing in the shadow, watching. I didn't notice him before. Who is he? I don't know. Oh, yes, it's that new man, Enrico. The man the manager was telling us about this morning. Oh. He used to be a great wire walker himself, remember? Oh, yes. No wonder I was nervous with him looking on. Oh, but he hasn't done anything for years. We don't have to be nervous about him. Come on. Oh, but, let... Michael, the, the way he was staring, I... Let, let's go for a walk and then come back. Perhaps he'll be gone. Now, Marie, what's the matter? We have to keep practicing, especially if you expect to get this backward somersault perfected in time to do it in Dalton. I can't help it, Mike. I, I don't want him staring at me. It may be my imagination, but there's something about him that scares me. <laughs> Yes, Marie, now you feel it, too. The hatred reaching out like a shadow to engulf you. But it's only a shadow, and you can shake it off. You've almost forgotten the incident by that night. And now you're sitting in your compartment on the circus train, getting sleep when... Who's there? Michael? Oh. oh I hope I have not frightened you, Miss Salvini. I knew you were busy all day, and I thought it would be better to visit you here tonight. I... Uh, what do you want? I, I just want to talk to you. And you must not be frightened of me. My name is Enrico. I was a tight wire walker once, and I was very impressed with your ability today. Oh, thank you. The backward somersault on the high wire was my specialty. Oh. And I was surprised to see such a young girl performing it, and so well. Oh, thank you, sir. We're practicing so hard because we want to try it in Dalton. And only two more days. I see. That is time enough, I'm sure. Do you really think so? Oh, I do, with the proper help. Oh, uh, tell me, you have uh, no people with you uh, who could help you? No, I, I'm alone. Oh. Except for my partner, of course. I have no family. I've had to learn for myself. I see. Well, would you allow me to help you? It would give me great pleasure to see you perform such a difficult trick on the highway. It would be a, a little like doing it myself once again. Oh, it'd be wonderful to have your help. Oh, good. Then we will begin tomorrow morning. Yes, thank you. It's so funny. What? I... Well, I had the strangest feeling about you, but... Oh, it, it was nothing. And now you're very nice. Oh, thank you, my dear. I hope that I shall be a good pupil. Oh, I am sure you will, Marie. Uh, I'm sure that I will accomplish what I wish. Good night. You are listening to The Whistler, brought to you by your friend, the Signal Oil Company, marketers of famous Signal Gasoline, your best buy today. Remember to let every go signal remind you, you do go farther with Signal Gasoline. Well, it 
would seem that Marie Savini should choose her teachers more carefully, especially since the trick she's trying to learn is one of the most difficult of all on the high wire. The next morning, with everything ready, Enrico starts Marie on her lessons. Good morning, Enrico. Oh, there you are, Marie. <laughs> I was afraid this would prove too early for you. Oh, no. I had the men rig up the high wire. I was hoping we could get started before anybody else was around. But the high wire... Do you really think I'm ready for it, Enrico? Don't you think I should practice on the low one for a you while yet? You have only two days to perfect it. I'm sure you can do it now. You are not afraid, are you, Marie? Oh, of course not, Enrico. If you think I'm ready, I'll try it. I'll probably fall into the net the first few times. Ah, that is the only way you will learn. Yes. Now, come, let's hurry. I will give you a boost to the ladder. But uh, I feel nervous, Enrico. Perhaps I shouldn't go up right now. Nonsense. By the time you reach the wire, you will be over it, Marie. I will watch you from down here. Oh, all right. There she goes, Enrico, up. Up to that dizzy height from which your son fell. Marie Savini. As you watch her, the tent spins in your eyes. She's there now, limbering up, walking out on the wire, unsteadily, nervously. You had better walk the wire a few times just to limber up. Hold yourself steady. That is fine. Now, come back once more, and we will try the somersault. Good, good. Are you ready now? I... I, I guess so. All right. Go to the middle of the wire... Relax yourself. All right? Now! I can, Enrico. I can't do it. I never realized how it would be to do it from up here. Go ahead, Marie. You cannot stop now. You want to be a great star, do you not? You must try it now. Jump! Enrico, I... Hello there. <laughs> what are you doing, Marie? Oh. Hello, Michael. I'm sorry, Enrico. I'll, I'll try it again. Oh, that is quite all right. What's the matter, Marie? Enrico's helping me with my backward somersault, but I'm afraid I'm not such a good pupil. Marie, you've got to come down now. What? The manager wants to talk to you right away. He's at the ticket wagon. All right. Come on down. I will hold the rope. Thank you. Here I come. I've heard a lot about you, Enrico. Marie is fortunate to have you to help her. Thank you. Yes, thanks, Enrico. I'll be right back. I promise not to fail again. Do not worry about it. I will wait for you here. Will you wait too, Michael? Sure, Marie. Hurry. Marie is going to be a great star someday, son. I hope so, Enrico. You are very fond of her, are you not, Michael? Yes, I am. She and I grew up together in the circus. One of these days, we're going to be married. Oh, I did not know that. Congratulations. I'm... Enrico! Very... Look! What is it? The net. Look at it. Every rope on that end is untied and hanging loosely. Good heavens! If Marie had fallen, she would have been killed instantly. Oh, I should have checked it. Those stupid riggers. Oh, Michael, do not tell Marie about this. She might lose her nerve and never want to go up again. Yes, you're right, Enrico. Hurry, we've got to fix it before she comes back. Oh, thank heaven she didn't try the somersault. Yes. It is fortunate, is it not? <laughs> Yes, it is fortunate, is it not? There might have been a very regrettable accident, mightn't there, Enrico? Did I say accident? Well, who knows? Those things do happen in a circus, but it was avoided, thank goodness. And the next morning, Michael is there to see that it doesn't happen again. And so now Marie is ready for her debut as a star. Enrico, I, I want to apologize for the way I almost failed you yesterday. I hope you'll forgive me. Oh, of course I do, Marie. I understand just how you felt up there. The important thing is the fact that you came back again and did it perfectly. Oh. And this morning, you performed like a veteran. I admire your courage. It was all because of you, Enrico. This means so much to me. 
I've always looked forward to the day when I'd be a featured star in the circus. Oh, you will be the star of the show tomorrow, Marie. I can just see you on the high wire. The ringmaster will introduce you, and then you will climb to the platform confidently knowing that you will be doing one of the greatest tricks on the high wire. I remember saying all this to my son. Your son, Enrico? Yes, my son, Tony. He was killed while working on the trapeze ten years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, the trapeze, but I thought you said he worked the high wire. Someone else persuaded him to give it up and become a trapeze performer. That's when he was killed. How terrible, Enrico. Didn't he use a net? A great artist does not use a net, Marie. It is a sign of utmost confidence in oneself, the thing that makes people admire a performer even more. Someday, you will work without a net, Marie. And then you will be truly a great performer. After today, Enrico, I could never be afraid of anything. I know I could perform without a net tomorrow if you oh, wanted me to. Oh, no, 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 my dear. You could not do that. It is extremely dangerous. But, of course, it would give you great prestige if you performed without a net in Dalton. You would indeed be acclaimed as a great tightwire artist. I'm going to do it, Enrico. Oh, no, no, but, Marie, you cannot... Enrico, no, I no. know you want to help uh, me, but I can't help feeling that you still think I'm a coward. Oh, no, Marie, I do not. Tomorrow, when I perform the backward somersault without a net, I'll prove to you that I'm not afraid. You are very wrong, Marie. But I admire your spirit. If you are determined to do this, I know I cannot stop you. I shall be at your side when you go up. I know... You will be successful. And now the shadow of hatred engulfs the circus. The day has come, and if you'd watch closely, you'd see Enrico's hands working convulsively, gripping hard, gripping hard on a dead throat. Marie Savini is going onto the high wire today to do a backward somersault without a net. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness a performance of great daring. Marie Savini is going to attempt a backward somersault down the high wire above. This will be the first time that this feat has ever been attempted by a woman. To add to the already present danger, Miss Savini is going to perform right before your eyes without the aid of a life-saving net. Presenting Marie Savini. Now, Enrico, now watch, Enrico. Stand there in the shadow you brought and watch. Miss Savini is approaching the center of the wire. She's ready now. Her body is poised for the spring that will spell success or doom. She's about to jump. She does. <coughs> Good Lord, the wire broke. Believe it, I, I can't. Marie, dead. Buck up, son. These accidents happen sometimes. I'm afraid this was no accident, Mr. Morgan. What do you mean? I just examined the wire. It didn't just break. It was filed halfway through. No. No. You sure, Johnson? Yeah, you can see for yourself. Oh, no. Who would want to kill Marie Savi? Good heavens, I never thought of that. What's the matter, Mr. Morgan? Who checked this wire before Marie went up? Well, I usually do, but Don Rico said he'd do it. That's what I thought. Enrico. Enrico! He's the one who persuaded her to go up without a net. Yes, he is. And he checked the wire. You mean... Wait. Yes. Yes. Something else happened, too. The other day, I discovered the net was untied while Marie was practicing. 
Enrico blamed it on the hands who put it up. Uh, that's not true. I supervised that myself. It was all tied perfectly. But Don Rico ordered us out. He said he'd check everything himself. And then he, he untied the net. Mr. Morgan! Come on. Let's find Don Rico. <laughs> Enrico, we want to... Enrico, what's the matter? Nothing. Nothing, my friend. Everything is all right now. Enrico, you killed her. When I was a little boy, Morgan, a priest once told me that revenge brought no satisfaction. But it does, Morgan. It does. That's why you find me smiling, laughing, yes. Yes, Morgan. I killed Marie Savini as I could not kill her father. And now my son's death is avenged. The Whistler will be back with a strange ending of tonight's tale in just a moment. Meantime, here's a timely reminder about two important parts on your car, your transmission and differential. Because these gears need their lubricant changed only once every 5,000 miles, they're often forgotten. And then here's what happens. Tiny bits of metal are pulverized by the tremendous pressure of the gears, and the lubricant gradually becomes a gritty, grinding abrasive that can cause costly damage. That's why now, when you take your car to your signal gasoline dealer to have him lubricated for winter protection, it's a good time to also have him change the transmission and differential lubricant. His famous safety signal chart shows the exact type of signal lubricant the maker of your car prescribed to give your expensive gears maximum protection. Incidentally, if your old windshield wiper is leaving blurring streaks on your windshield, your signal gasoline dealer has just received a fresh stock of the famous Rainmaster blades that will keep your vision clear through the rainy season. Helping you to go safely is just another way your signal gasoline dealer is prepared to help you go farther. And now, back to the whistler. <laughs> Yes, Enrico had his revenge. He killed Marie Savini. At last, the hated name was wiped from the pages of the living. But wait, Enrico. What does this mean? The expression on the face of your friend Morgan. Good Lord, Enrico, you don't know what you've done. I've done what I had to do. But you don't understand, Enrico. Savini never had a daughter. What? What do you mean? His child was a son. There never was a Marie Savini. I gave Marie that name. Next Monday at 9 o'clock, the Signal Oil program will bring you another strange tale by The Whistler. The Signal Oil program is broadcast for your entertainment by the Signal Oil Company, marketers of Signal's famous Go Father gasoline and motor oil, and by your neighborhood Signal Oil dealer, who is at your service daily to keep your car running for the duration. The Signal Oil program, produced and directed by George W. Allen, with story by Hal Wexler and music by Wilbur Hatch, is transmitted to our troops overseas by the Armed Forces Radio Service. Bob Anderson speaking for your friend, the Signal Oil Company, and suggesting once again that you let every go signal remind you that you do go farther with Signal Gasoline. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>